down Prince Street again. It's a slightly different town than it is earlier in the day. Something in there. It's a fishing pole, but I doubt that's what it is. Interesting to see if anything has changed. Did I mention I hate Bridge Street? Nothing tonight. Careful, kiddos. You know what? This uh, was all. Looks like there were some smashed windows. Looks like my buddy did survive. He didn't get anything smashed. Well, that's good. No bad for the art gallery folks, though. Let's take a look around. They didn't have to board up the uh, Friendship Gallery. down chestnut down. Looks like they uh oh the winding way books is closed. Oh, stuck. better be careful, he'll turn his Audi into an Nobody there. So, <laughs> those big protests that were there yesterday. There's nothing today. There's some, still some boarded up stuff. But, a couple windows looks like they were broken at the police station. I don't see anything damaged at the post office. The House of Pizza's open. Oh, that's a good place to get food. Hello, puppy. things and then it all kind of just fizzled out. Hello again folks, Scoot and Fool here. Just wanted to follow up on my video from last night. Had a lot of people sign in. Uh, kind of a boring ride. Uh, just showing you Lancaster City. It's, it's a little strange because Monday night there were riots about halfway through, from everything that I've re read and been able to put together, about halfway through the riots on Monday night, various uh, bloggers are reporting that there was an immediate cessation of hostilities, so to speak, as soon as the body cam footage was released. 
suddenly the group started to disperse as people started looking at their phones and saying, oh, um, maybe that was kind of justified. Um, killing is bad. It's horrible. You know, the one thing I saw when I saw that young man charging out of that house, I saw my son's face. My wife and I adopted a boy through foster care about, what? 16 years ago. 16 years ago. Wow. Oh, my word. Time, time goes by. 2006 was the adoption date. Um, 14 years. 14 years ago. He came to live with us in 2004. So that he, was a 16. Right. Thank you, Shelley. Um, he's part Hispanic. He and the young man who got himself killed looked somewhat similar, a little different. So it's very sad to me to see this young man die. I hate to see life ended before it's had any chance to have any real impact. Uh, when it's just wasted and thrown away. It's a horrible thing. But I don't blame the police officer. He was in a he was in a no win situation. That being said, I fear that this is someday going to happen to my own son because he's going to make a bad decision <laughs> and end up here. Good thing right now, the protests seem to be over. The riots didn't happen again last night. Uh, there was a protest of sorts, but most of the calmer heads prevailed, said their piece, and then went home. Um so I'm glad that I'm glad that it's been kind of resolved. Again, I was there tonight at seven o'clock, and yesterday at seven o'clock they'd already started with the protests. So I'm guessing there will probably be something this weekend, but for now it looks like it's kind of fizzled out. So thanks for watching. Uh, got a nice little view of downtown Lancaster. So uh, two nights in a row. I hope you stay well, be safe, and be blessed. Scootin' full out.